Hey guys, welcome to Duality 9X, your number one spot here on YouTube for the craziest, weirdest, strangest, freakiest paranormal videos that are circulating on the web. We're going to cover it all. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. I got my cup. Let's go. Venturing into the woods all by yourself can sound like a good idea at first, but it may turn out to be a nightmare, a creepy adventure, which is the case with Erlo Brown, who went hiking all by himself in South Africa when all of a sudden this happened. I think we have found a perfect place to oh. place the trail camera. So this trail running along here is literally the only entrance and exit for this entire valley. And you can see it's very narrow, so it's very easy to funnel yeah. the animals in one spot. You know exactly where they'll be walking. It's very dense around here. So I guess animals can walk wherever they want. They don't need the trail. But um, I'm That's almost 100% convinced we'll catch some animals on this trail. Let's look at He's how setting nice the stage, that guys. I just have to find a good spot I to place feel the camera. Something's happening. Something's about to happen. He was trying to find a tree to place his trail cam when all of a sudden he hears an unknown sound the only thing is it's not a human nor an animal uh so maybe a tree i reckon this tree could maybe work although that's going to be very obvious maybe if we find something that's a little bit further into the tree line so it's better hidden this could perhaps work I knew something like that was going to happen. I have no idea what that was. That was not an animal. No. Uh, that definitely didn't eat. sound like an animal. Ho! Oh, Ho! Oh. Okay, okay. Um, it's creepy, right? It's creepy. Like uh, anytime, look, if if you're in the woods, how how many times? I mean, I we got some we got some crazy places around where I live, right? You know, you go through the woods and you're walking through the ravine, and you just you're you're always wondering what could be behind that set of branches or over that ridge or you know and and it's not something paranormal that i'm really scared about it's always about the animals right i'm always freaked out that a cougar is going to jump out in front of you or you're going to walk right in front of like a grizzly bear or like a black bear or, or just something along those lines right or a wolf a wandering wolf just kind of looking around um and, and you see those videos, right, with people walking down on these trails with their kids and all of a sudden a cougar just jumps out and starts hissing and, man, that's scary. But that noise, that noise did not sound like it could have been made by an animal. It couldn't, it didn't, it definitely didn't sound human-like. Um, man, that was good. That was good. All right, let's see what else we got here. The warning from the anonymous time traveler about four concerning dates in February 2024 is worrying. It seems strange and scary that such big things could be approaching without us knowing. Let's find it out. On February 9th, a new strain of COVID emerged, called the Spectrum Strains. It is 5x greater than ever before. By May, the world is in another lockdown due to a global pandemic. There are 200 million cases by 2025. On February 13th, the sky turns a very dark shade of purple for two minutes. Whoever looks at it goes blind. It will later be known as the Violet Flash. It is not discovered why it happens until June 2024. On February 17th, the first ever F6 tornado occurred, hitting Houston, F6. Texas. It destroys tornado. almost the entire city making it the most devastating tornado in the history of mankind. On February 26th, the country of Hungary disappeared overnight, turning into a giant forest. The forest begins expanding each night into other parts of Europe. Everything just vanishes where it goes. Whoa. 
so was that last part supposed to happen over like a span of like decades or um february 24th warning i mean we we went through ah oh yeah we went through some very difficult times over the last few years uh you know getting jabbed you know um yeah don't like to say that word but you know there was some trying times that's for sure um for it to come back again and i i, I hear that you know i've been reading and hearing that there's some new stuff that's kind of like floating around in the air some new things that uh and who knows maybe maybe it's already around us right but i mean will 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 our countries ever go back into another lockdown that's another question right and you guys remember when wherever you are in respects to wherever you live when your cities went on lockdowns and how uncomfortable that was and i mean you wouldn't see anybody right i mean i remember i remember during lockdown days and we had to get you know the people were still kind of going about trying to get you know the bare essentials and necessities and stock up on goods and you know, getting some gas you know i mean and we would we'd be driving honestly it felt like a ghost town nobody nobody was around and and then the odd time you would see somebody on the road or walking down the sidewalk and you look at them all weird like whoa what are you doing here and you got to ask yourself the same question why you and they're probably asking sorry they're asking us the same question like whoa what's that car doing driving past here they should be in their home confined to their basements or yeah some very very weird times guys so if this stuff is kind of coming around again um that that's scary but the the where they're talking about this weird purple flash um in the sky and and they're talking about like the this f6 tornado that's freaky what's an f6 tornado i i'm i'm gonna have to google this after i mean if you guys know please put it in the comments i'd like to know what's an f6 tornado uh, obviously it sounds pretty devastating and then the whole country of hungary gets wiped out i think i think that's what they said and then it just turns into all this one big forest and it starts to expand some crazy stuff guys crazy crazy stuff all right One more time, guys. What was that? It's like, it's like a creature. Oh. What do you guys think? Was that a, was that a mythical creature, or were some people who were doing like like log work or? It looks like uh, some maybe. You look at these. You look at these uh, branches here. The way they're broken, it looks like maybe a machine did that, and maybe they're pulling something. And to us, it looked like it was a creature. I mean, I'm gonna probably lean more towards a creature, right? Because it's got to be a creature, right? That was weird, huh? I just have a feeling this guy's got something to do with it. COVID-19! COVID-19! Oh, you guys oh, spit on the us? The wind of God! The wind, wind of God. God! On you. On you. You are destroyed forever. You are you destroyed forever. And you will never be back. And you will never be back. Oh man. One more time, one more time. So COVID's over, and I just have a feeling this guy's got something to do with it. COVID 19! COVID 19! I blow! I blow. The wind of God! The wind, the wind of God! God. On you. You are destroyed forever. You are destroyed forever. 
and you'll never be back. And you'll never be back. It just, you know, his words just went right through me. This post is made up of two completely independent videos that are added together, provide enough paranormal level to exist in this top. Paranormal. The first correspondent to Leo. He's from Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina. He tells me about a strange image he observed while watching a documentary on Netflix. The documentary is about the story, Patches, a group of children who perform children's songs, a group that achieved great success during the first half of the 80s. It is during this documentary that I read. He notices a fleeting, but at the same time, inexplainable images that left him what absolutely worried. Look closely. Hey, hey! That looks like a looks like a phone. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That looks like a phone. And you see the girl right next to her. She's looking at the screen. Did you notice? Watch. Can you tell me what the hell the woman had in her hand? What this yeah. woman claims seems to be clearly a cell phone. But how can that oh, be possible? 100%. The recording date backs to the 80s and the first camera cell phone appeared in 2002. What's more, if you look, she then placed the device vertically, as we usually do it now, and, and points to the screen the as telling the little girl to observe something. Yeah. Could it be that we are getting confused, and it's really one of those old, long cameras? But as far as I know, those had no digital screen to look at. At that time, they simply right. didn't exist. That's right, they didn't so have a screen. So what the hell did the woman and the girl look at? Can this image prove the theory about time travel? That was interesting. So you notice, like right here. See, so she's looking. So you, you know those old Kodak cameras that they were showing where they didn't have a screen on it, guys. It wasn't a screen so by now that I'm looking at it it does look like there's a viewfinder right in the top right hand corner so maybe she's just kind of getting ready but why would you be like why would you be looking at it there's nothing to look at right so you know you have to kind of get it ready and then so, I mean, if I had the camera, okay, I'd look at it real quick, but then, you know, just so I know it's in position. And then, right? And then I would kind of line it up with my eye and then take that picture. But... But then why would the girl right next to her be looking at the screen? Why would she be... She's looking, and she's looking down... Sorry, looking at see, looking at the screen. I'm already assuming that the, this is a smartphone, but she's looking at this device. Why? Why would she be looking at it? She pulled out a camera. Okay, she pulled out a camera. That's it. But she's still looking at the camera or the phone. She's. Right? And then right here, now she's switching. Look, and right there the, the girl right next to her doesn't take her eyes off of this device and it seems like the lady holding the phone I'm, I'm gonna go to a limb here guys and I'm gonna say it was an iPhone or it was a an Android phone of some kind and she's showing this girl so she came from the future all right so this lady to the left She's from the future, and she's showing this little girl. She goes, look, look at this device. And this, this girl is just kind of looking at this device with, ex like, I mean, she's, she's looking out of, like, curiosity. Like, this is the first time she's ever seen something like this, right? And it's almost like she took a picture, and now she's showing her what the picture is. Wow. Incredible. Incredible. Quack, <laughs>
Guys, this channel is not always about, you know, scary, creepy, um, paranormal. I, I did mention strange, between creepy and strange, freaky. These are the strangest graves in the entire world. This grieving mother oh. added a sandbox to her little boy's grave who had passed away unexpectedly. And now his older brother plays in it every single day. This is the gravesite of a boy who died of an incurable illness in 1865. A few hours before he died, he told his dad he was scared of death because he knew they would bury him underground with no light. So his parents honored his wish and put a window in his tomb. After her daughter died of yellow fever in 1892, a grieving mother wanted to make sure that her little girl was never alone. You see, her daughter was absolutely terrified of storms, so she constructed a staircase that goes directly down into her tomb. Every time there was a thunderstorm, that mother would go to the graveyard and sit with her daughter for hours, comforting her in her grave. The following is an interview with the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin, shot February 6, 2024, at about 7 p.m. in the building behind us, which is, of course, the Kremlin. The interview, as you will see if you watch it, is primarily about the war in progress, the war in Ukraine, how it started, what's happening, and most pressingly, how it might end. One note before you watch. At the beginning of the interview, we asked the most obvious question, which is, why did you do this? Did you feel a threat, an imminent physical threat? Mm. And that's your justification. And the answer we got right, shocked right. us. Putin went on for a very long time, probably half an hour, about the history of Russia going back to the 8th century. And honestly, we thought this was a filibustering technique and found it annoying and interrupted him several times. And he responded he was annoyed uh, yeah. by the interruption. But we concluded in the end, for what it's worth, that it was not a filibustering technique. There was no time limit on the interview. We ended it after more than two hours. Instead, what you're about to see seemed to us sincere, whether you agree with it or not. Vladimir Putin believes that Russia has a historic claim to parts of Western Ukraine. So our opinion would be to view it in that light as a sincere expression of what he thinks. And with that, here it is. Mr. Okay. Uh, there's no video. Um, that was obviously, I, I, I heard about this video. It's about two hours and something uh, minutes long. Um, yeah, so Tucker Carlson goes out to Russia to interview the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin. And um, there was no time limit apparently on this interview. Um, and yeah, some of the details that kind of came out of that were, were quite shocking, I, I agree. So um, how it made it on our list, not sure. But uh, I, I, I guess, I mean, it is, falls in that whole strange and hey, you know, the, nobody likes to talk about doom and gloom and all the stuff that's going around, happening all around the world as the world continues to burn all around us. Uh, it sucks, uh, it really does. And we've got to put our faith in the leaders that we have, that they're doing the right thing to steer us all, uh, to ensure, sorry, that uh, they're protecting us and giving us that safety that we all are interested in, right? So that's the most important thing. All right, what do we got here? Oh, oh! <laughs> did I just... Oh my gosh. This guy is knocked out. He's unconscious. Man. What, what is this guy doing? What is... Oh my gosh, I can't even see this, guys. Oh. Oh, that's terrible. That is terrible.
That is terrible, guys. Um, yeah. I don't even know what to tell you guys. Uh, I, I feel very, very unfortunate for, for this guy. Um, that sucks. And then, and this this dum dumb wrestler still wants to continue his finishing move off the top ropes. Like, what's wrong with this guy, man? And you can see the referee's like, well, okay, guy. This is not part of the gig. Relax. Crazy. Get this chicken. Just that snatch of mix. You know you want it. Come get it. Come get it. I don't know what in the world you are, but we gonna get you out this water. Somebody let me know. What is this? It's half turtle. Half I don't know what the fish snatch boy. You oh, what you is quick. that? Watch out there now. Is that like a... Uh, is that real? You like that chicken, don't you? Bruh. Whoa. What kind of... Get this chicken. Just that snatch of mix. You know you want it. Come get it. Come get it. I don't know what in the half world turtle. you are, but we going to get half, you out I don't know. Somebody let me know. What is this? It's half turtle. Half, I don't know. What the fish snatch your boy? Hey, man. Too quick. You watch out there now. That looks like a funny looking like animal. like that chicken, don't you? Bruh. What kind of... Oh, it looks like a turtle. Wow. Wow. Well, that thing definitely was attracted to the smells and that chicken. And uh, who knows? I mean, if they're in, like, I mean, it looks like they're in a swamp kind of like area. And if they're in a swamp like area, I'm thinking of kind of like, you know, the, the south, you know, like Louisiana. And they've got some of the best fried chicken. So how could you not? How could you not want a bite of that beautifully spiced, tasty fried chicken? You can't you can't blame that poor turtle, snake. What what is that? That really looks odd. That's a that's kind of like a hybrid of some sorts. And I guess yeah, what what would prompt this mysterious creature to wanting to come out of the the bayou the swampy like surroundings that it's encased itself in but again who can't deny beautifully spiced tasty piece of fried chicken right so can't blame the can't blame the creature you cannot and guys that's it that's all we guys that's all we had today uh, I really appreciate you guys uh, sticking around and watching this video. And uh, again, if you're intrigued by the content, please like and subscribe and share. Share this content with your fellow enthusiasts. And until the next time, until our next adventure, and in the meantime and in between time, don't do anything crazy. We'll see you and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.